The second thing is, what happened when he made them get into the boat? He went up on the mountain by himself to pray. A really strange observation here is that Jesus didn't sleep. Of course, our Lord Jesus Christ knows very well that his disciples will meet this tribulation. Can anyone say Jesus didn't know about it from the beginning to end? Of course not. He knew. He knew very well that the result will be good in the end. So there's no way that Jesus could be worried about it. He's not worried. He knows what will happen from start to finish. But despite that he knows the end result, his disciples are in pain. They're being tortured. They're worried. So what does Jesus go and do during this time? Pray. Pray. He went up on the mountain to pray. This situation is really strange, but beautiful. That Jesus intercedes for us through the tribulation. Then you might say, well, forget interceding and just take away the tribulation. Jesus says, no, this way is better. Let's keep the tribulation and my part will be to pray for you. Lord, if you're going to pray for us, pray that the tribulation be removed. No, I'm, I'm not going to pray to remove the tribulation. I'll pray that you stand firm. Okay, well, we have another suggestion. Won't it be easier if it's just removed? No, there must be tribulation. This word must is important. He made them get into the boat. And removing the tribulation isn't the answer. It's not. It's important and it's, an, and it's necessary. Okay, well, is Jesus sleeping during the tribulation? He himself has suffered being tempted. He's being tried more than anyone else. He's able to aid those who are tempted. Because of this, there's a beautiful verse here that says, In all their affliction, he was afflicted. Such a weird saying. What in the world, Lord, could afflict you? Are you afflicted? Yeah. Only one thing afflicts me when I find my children suffering hard times. He'll be afflicted with them, but he won't remove the affliction. To that extent, yes, because the affliction is necessary. The affliction is critical, so he's ready to be afflicted with them, and the affliction won't be taken away. Of course, when the night came, he was still by himself, and he stayed up all night feeling their pain. His heart is with them, but take note, they're not aware of it. They're drowning, and they think he is. Pay attention to this one. They think he's sleeping. They think he forgot. And that's another doubt that comes to us during times of tribulation. Did God forget me? Is God ignoring me? Does God hate me? Has God refused me? No, my beloved child. God intercedes for us and feels our pain. And he's praying for you and staying up late. And he's afflicted with you. But he's not going to take away the tribulations. Why? Because we're still only in the first watch of the night. There's still the second and the third and the fourth. And they have all their value. 